All right, fellas, we back with the Monte Carlo build. Uh, we're going to go over next steps. We're going to do some assessing over the parts we got and the parts that we need for the uh, TBI setup. But um, as y'all see in the previous video, I treated the floor on the inside. And I came out today and I did the um, spare tire well. And I watched in the previous video, this was the only place in the trunk that had surface rust. So I came out, knocked it down with my wire brush and treated it with, with the rust converter. So we're done with the treating for now, and we'll uh, get back to that when we do the uh, full treatment and stuff. But um, I've been doing the research on the uh, on the big uh, 454 t bow on the 305, and there's plenty of guys that have done it, and it works out flawlessly. But the only issue they had uh, is they had to uh, modify their intake, but we ain't gonna have that issue because we don't have a TBI intake. We got a regular uh, dual plane uh, Elder Brock intake we're gonna use. And this is how it's gonna be basically set up. And you know, it's already got the hose pre-drilled for the uh, 4150 Holly and a quadradred if you wanted to use that. And um, it's machined out at the bottom to feed off all four barrels. And um, this is a standard uh, 454 throttle body, which has like a two inch bore over the uh, 350 and 305 throttle bodies, what a lot of guys go through to, uh, to upgrade. The, a lot of third gen guys do it to upgrade their TBI setup. But this one right here is from RV Morris Machine, and this uh, machined out. And um, he didn't specify what he machined it out to uh, on the website, but most of the time they get machined out to like 46 millimeters or a little bit above that. So I'm guessing that this one is about 47, 46 millimeters, which is a little under 700 uh, CFM for a, a throttle body. You know, uh, the CFM is rated different with uh, fuel injections than carburetors because of the pressure difference. But um, we're gonna use this computer and the harness that he needs to buy, it comes with a chip. So we'll just get uh, um, performance fuel injection systems to tailor this throttle body with the uh, 305 setup and we'll just take that out i might have to send it to him and have them do it or we can do it ourselves and he'll just need to get uh the harness the chip and a distributor base for the 305 and for right now we're going to use my old um uh, ati cap and rotor big cap and rotor and uh down the line he can uh, upgrade to a dui cap and rotor to get him some more uh spark and stuff but I got an uh, extra one and some extra fuel injectors. This one right here pretty much got all the goodies. It already had got the, um, you know, this come capped, so you can't adjust your uh, idle and stuff. They didn't want you fueling, with, fueling around with it. So they already got that. It's got the pod space to uh, bring up the fuel injectors so it can breathe more air in there. Uh, it's got pretty much all the goodies except for like a, a, the fuel. Uh, I didn't change the, um, fuel regulator spring in it, but I don't got the uh, the adjustable fuel regulator, which we can get for the, him and uh, be able to adjust the fuel pressure and stuff. Right around nine to 13 PSI is where the TBI likes to live. So that's where we'll set it up at. And I just been going through, uh, adding to the parts list for the TBI set. We're gonna need a um, coolant temp sensor. We're gonna need an O2 sensor, narrow band. We're gonna need a fuel pump. I think we're gonna go with like a uh, TBI pump, cause on mine I had I went with like a 255 wall board, and I think that was a little bit too much for the regulator to handle. So we're gonna go with like a uh, a good uh, stock fuel pump, but we're gonna go with the uh, in tank fuel pump setup, and we're gonna get a tank from a Grand National, and uh, you got the harness and chip, the distributor base, and a fuel gauge to set the uh, fuel pressure. The uh, harness and chip is like 350. The distributor base is like 125. Uh, these sensors and stuff is not that much. The tank is probably about 130 bucks and the fuel pump will probably be a little bit under 100. Um, but I got a lot of the parts to go to get them started and stuff. And so, and it's performing and oriented. So it's gonna be nice uh, for it, fellas. And, um, Later down the road, he can upgrade to like some AFR heads and stuff. You know, get a little bit more power out of it. Cause you know the 305, they can make a little power for what they is. You know, it ain't gotta be no big block or no 350. And then this can do for now. We're gonna change that intake out. We're gonna do it good. But um, 
this is just what I'm uh, working on today is just working out, um, getting down the parts list and assessing over stuff. Um, I got that done. And uh, next weekend, I'm going to start on uh, deleting all the small, taking all the hoses and stuff off, fella. So y'all stay tuned in. And um, we're going to get this Monte Carlo Luxury Sport back on the road very soon, fellas. I hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all have a great day.